what's going on everybody Chaz Howard I'm the university chaplain here at Penn I uh, also an alum of the university I graduated in 2000 and first came in 96 but came a little bit before that you know, at the Penn relays and visiting and such and have not left really barely left for grad school for a little bit but I've been here and closing in on 20 years at the university it's been a great experience, but a, a difficult experience at times, uh, as I imagine that's been the case for a lot of a lot of y'all. I was thinking about what I wanted to focus on in this this brief uh, moment, and the words that were in my mind and my heart were "be free." And I think that's the message I'd want to give to anybody who gets to watch this, any current students or future students or, or staff or faculty for that matter. Um, it's important to be free. And people before us fought uh, and died and, and lived so that we could be free. And what does it mean to be free in a university setting? And I, I feel like for my first two years here, I struggled with that. I think I was, I was uh, running for emancipation in a sense. And I think that in, in, in one regard, there, there, are, there are these chains about the negative perceptions of us on this campus that, that enslave us. A lot of us come in with people thinking we only got into Penn uh, because we're black. You only got into Penn because you must be an athlete um, or you must be on one of the teams. Uh, and, and, and when you internalize that, we, we can begin to believe that we don't deserve to be here. And that's so not true. That people think that the only way you could have gotten in to a university is, is because you look a certain way and you're here to fill a certain number. Um, but that's not true. If you got into the school, you deserve to be here. You got in because someone believes you are good enough to do the work here. They saw something in you beyond uh, a grade, a score, or whatever. First of all, most of y'all got a thousand times better grades and test scores than I got in here anyway. But you deserve to be here. And, 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 and more than that, you have to be comfortable in your own skin, knowing that people are going to say some terrible things about you. Don't be enslaved by the perceptions that others have of us people who look like us. Because if you do, it's paralyzing. And, and if you're not free of, of people's perceptions of us, well, you can't be your best self. Connected to that, though, sometimes people have good hopes for us that enslave us. And a lot of times this comes from, from people we love who put these expectations to, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever when you, go, when you grow up, when you graduate college. And those are all good things to be, if that's what you're supposed to be. A lot of us don't have the courage, don't have the freedom to be what we really want to be, to be what we're really called to be. And so instead, we kind of suffer through majors and classes that we don't want to be in, we ain't supposed to be in. And, and it takes people years after they graduate sometimes to finally shake loose chains and be true to the calling on their lives. And, and be true to what they're supposed to be. It takes a lot of courage to stand up and be who you really are. I mean, I think that's one of the, one of the devastating aspects of, of slavery, I think, was how our identities were taken from us. Literally, people were renamed, stripped from their homeland, and, and, and stripped of their original language, and stripped of who they really were, and forced to be someone else. That's almost worse than any kind of chain that could be around someone's arms or feet. Don't let that be you. Be who you're supposed to be. I think the last little thing I'll say about freedom, though, is be a good steward of the freedom you have. I mean, once you really are free and, and can walk without worrying about what people are saying about you, and once you are free to be who you're supposed to be, do something with it. I feel like there's too many of us who use this time at Penn and use all the opportunities it gives us after we graduate for themselves. And it's cool to, to live in a good house and to be in a good school district for your kids and to be able to provide, and that's a beautiful thing. But if you're only using it for yourself and the people close to you, that's kind of selfish. And in fact, that's not real freedom. I mean, I mean the folks who, who somehow managed to escape enslavement, the best ones, are those who found ways to work for liberation for others, those who came back and got other folks, those who worked to change laws and policies and perceptions. 
that's got to be you too. Use freedom to help others get free. Proud of y'all and, and thankful for the fact that you're here at Penn and, or will be here in the future. We're praying for y'all who ain't here yet. And we're praying for y'all who are here. Thanks. And all we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off, man. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off, man. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free.